Ladies and gentlemen, what an honor to have the award-winning illustrator Ramon <laughs> Perez here. Now, you live in Toronto, but this do, is yeah. your weekend pretty much with Comic-Con here. Yeah. It's one of the many weekends where the, the people get to come out of the shadows and have a good time. Yeah. Can't we just get a computer to illustrate now? <laughs> <laughs> it saved me a lot of work. I would love that. You know, no. I'm going to be honest with but you. It, but isn't that the wonderful thing about comic books, though, is that there is still a human touch oh, in, yeah. in comic books that, that we see. And it, it's hard to reproduce what you do effectively and, and even even emotionally so oh yeah I think it's great because I mean uh, I'm part of a studio the Red studio which is like 16 artists and uh, everybody's just knee-deep and working on these comic books and creating and mm. they all love what they do and it's great it's just like it's imbued with such personality from each individual artist writer and that sort of thing and you get commissioned to do your work based on your style some things yeah. are edgier some things might be a little like Betty and Veronica, a little more yeah. bubblegum yeah, looking. Exactly. And I've done both myself. He's like the dark X Men, you know, you know, death, carnage, and then yeah, lighthearted, yeah. you know, boy meets girl kind of stories as well, kind of thing. Yeah. So okay, uh, let's look at, at, at a bit of your work, and then I want to delve into a little bit about how how Comic Con has evolved and how this has been not just a part of our childhood but now a part of our adulthood. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so t so this is just now. What what is this that we're looking at? This is uh, the inks, or like the original artwork I did for a Trudeau cover two years ago now, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. And it got a lot of media attention because uh, he was uh, on the cover of Marvel Comics, superhero with Alpha Flight, the Canadian uh, team from uh, that company. Kind of thing. And, and, it, and it's, it speaks volumes just, just in that picture. Like, who's that evil guy in the background? <laughs> uh, He's actually a good guy. <laughs> but, uh, but it was great because, like, it, the... Um, the uh, the company asked me to do him. And they like kind of gave me free reign to do what I want. I actually, well, I originally had him topless uh, <laughs> on the cover, and they were like, "No, I don't know. No, we, we can't do that." And, and the next week, he shows up on the news coming out of the woods <laughs> topless. Well, like, and ah. he's a self-proclaimed like comic book superhero. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's, he's actually been at Comic Con, dressed as I think the. Uh, Han Solo or something with his kids one year, and yeah, he's like wandered around. So he's I'm a big sure nerd. he loved that. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now let's talk about this. They, they, a lot of these, a lot of these characters too. It just seems like they're everywhere, and it's oh, so yeah. hard to keep track of. But there used to be a more contained group of characters, and they've been around since the mid uh, 20th century. World War II. Oh, yeah. A lot of yeah. Yeah. Like Some guys like uh, Batman harken back to like pre World War uh, Two. Yeah, like 1930s, 1920s, late 1920s. Yeah, so they've been kind of evolved and keep changing, but they're all, all intrinsically the same uh, to a degree. But they're always, like, playing with them. Like, Marvel's uh, exceptionally great for that. They'll take these characters like Spider-Man, who's had, like, tons of iterations, whether he's different costumes, sometimes he'll have more arms, sometimes he'll be a clone. It just gets Younger, ridiculous. Younger, older. Yeah, yeah exactly. Now version. he's a tech billionaire, I think, and, and he's reverting back to a teenager in the next arc or something. And I love how people pick camps. It's always like, what do you prefer, Marvel versus DC? DC's oh, yeah. more the godlike yeah. hero, and then you have Marvel, like X-Men, where they're yeah. a little bit more flawed and look a little bit more you, human. You know, look, you know I would not she knows her stuff. I, I don't know if X-Men is Marvel or DC. You know why? The movies got me into it. Oh, I yeah. am not the comic book freak, but yeah. now one lends itself to the other, yeah. right? Because it's so mainstream. It is, it is, but it's interesting. You have all these people now who are familiar with the movies who have never read the comics. That was their first introduction to these these worlds. So like, yeah. and some of them do actually wander over to our neck of the woods and buy the buy the comic books. But it's like almost like a few different camps now: the video game players, the comic book collectors, and the movies. Um, you know, and, and right now, and this is what we think of Comic Con is what we have on the table here right yeah. now. Uh, we got system. Marvel, we got JLA, yeah. we got the X Men, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. What about Archie and Veronica? What What about Richie Rich? Uh, you know, <laughs> like, is that is that a taboo at Comic Con? No, no, not Everything. at all. I think Richie Rich is retired probably, but uh, Betty oh, and Veronica poor are still rich boy. And then you have Riverdale now on on Netflix and all that stuff. So like, it, it has a new resurgence, and they've modernized Archie. Jane and his Eyre, all kinds of yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, I just did the Jane Eyre graphic novel uh, with um, Aline Brush McKenna, wow. who does Crazy Ex Girlfriend, and uh, she modernized the story. We worked together, and we kind of just brought this classic Bronte. Sisters, you know, gothic romance to a modern day New York. Putting on the spot, favorite superhero of favorite all time? Favorite superhero? Probably, uh, well, if you're going to say Marvel Camp Wolverine, Kay. I grew up in, and Batman's like my all time favorite, but, you know, I grew up on the Adam which West Batman? version. Yeah, I know. I, yeah. I, I, grew, I grew up with the TV show version, not the comic book version of all things. All right. Okay, now I'm going to go and, Iron Man, Wonder Woman. Oh, well, that's quality Each choices. Okay. You know? yeah. And I'm, yeah. going, I'm just going Superman. Yeah. He's from Toronto. <laughs> right? Is he? He is. Yeah. Oh, I mean, oh, the creator. The creator, yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. I, 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 not Superman. He's from Krypton, not, not Toronto. Come on. Same thing. Have you ever, <laughs> it, it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah Superman based on. Uh, That's right. 
it was the creator from Toronto. Yep. That's right. uh, Superman, Daily Planet, based on the uh, Toronto Star, yep. etc. Yeah, so, exactly. yeah. the street right by my uh, Queen West area, Joe Schuster Way. Oh, oh okay. Okay. Named after the creator of Superman. You know Beautiful. who else is a superhero here, Ramon? By the way, people are going to see you this weekend, Comic-Con. Yeah. Uh, our own Winston C. He well, is he doing he's incredible a feats. <laughs> He oh, yeah? lumberjack stuff this morning. Oh, he, okay. he, cla he claims he threw an axe and almost hit the target and sent us a picture. <laughs> and, and, no, he did the log, the running it, on the log. Could it be modified, though? Maybe he ran up, it fucked me. it in. I, believe that, I don't know. <laughs> stand, that I, was I me. believe okay. you it's Super C. I've, I've seen no video. <laughs> I would like to see it actually happen. <laughs> Like I'm going to try to recreate this. They gave me an axe. I don't know if this is a good idea. Sean that. can climb this tree pole in eight seconds. Go ahead. Oh, and wow. while he's doing that, Darren, you're going to... Wow. Whoa. That's impressive. That was fast. Okay. Oh, my oh, gosh. Oh, oh, okay. Well, he's supposed to do that. Okay. That was crazy. Okay. Let's, let's teach me how to Quick do this throw axe lesson. throwing lesson. Yeah, yes. Stand right here by the line. Okay. Hands up. Axe in front of... You're going to bring the axe straight back over your head, straight back towards the target, and you're going to let go. Throw the axe right at that. Yeah, Nail Sean, get up the there because I don't want you in yeah, the we'll way. Yeah, we'll get Sean back up the tree out okay. of the way. There you go. It's all you. I'm going to try to do this, okay? One, two. Focus on the bullseye. Oh, yes! Yeah! Yes! Well done. You saw that, right? Oh, you saw that. We'll see yes! when we come back. We are at the Toronto Sportsman Show. Yeah. Yes! Wow. Yes, Winston! That was mine. <laughs> that was mine. <laughs> Oh, wow. He, you could draw him as a superhero. It's uh, 7.29. We'll be right back. Did you notice the guy climbed the top of the pole real quick?